hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is solomon jagwe i am back with another quick tip uh this time it's in iclone okay and with a custom character so this is uh princess anitandra uh she's the best friend of uh nancha and koza from our animated series uh, the adventures of koza and nancha and one of the things that uh you know i've seen i've received requests from is uh how, how you can achieve cool looking hair in iClone so there's something in iClone that they've added uh, I don't and that's actually happened in the more recent versions of iClone but when you import your uh, custom character into iClone the textures are gonna be imported and interpreted as PBR textures okay so I have two sides of the hair for this character I have this hair and this hair so these are the two hair bobs on each side but i've been trying to achieve more natural looking hair this is a low polygon character so right now what you see um, if i were to turn off this smooth mesh this character is eighty-six thousand polygons and that's the hair combined with and actually you know what the drums are combined are contributing to everything that is in the scene so uh if i turn it off and uh where's this too so all together like the character by it by the character i'm talking about uh, anitandra selected is eighty six thousand. uh the entire scene is one sixty one one sixty one thousand triangles but the character herself is uh eighty six thousand. so which is pretty cool if you're trying to animate and also if you're planning to take the character into the unreal engine uh, to animate so when i'm ready after i animate i usually turn on the smooth mesh so that i can prepare the character for rendering and that brings it up at under 348,000. but that's for the final shot when i'm not animating i um sorry when i'm not before i render the final shot i usually do i turn off the smooth mesh and the subdivision so that it's much easier to interact with the facial animation but once i'm done i can go and enable smooth mesh now the hair uh, right now when I first brought it in it didn't, it didn't look the best so there's a neat trick in uh, iClone that you can actually do there's a feature uh, a new shader that they added and you might not first off offhand you might not think it applies to custom characters you may think it only applies to character creator you know models character creator three models but it actually applies to your custom character once you bring it in so our hair looks uh eh, okay but i wanted it to be more natural looking and anitandra uh, her parents are based in the uk rather in the us so her backstory is that they are african-american parents and they live in the same neighborhood as uh, uh, Nkoza and Nancha who have uh, Ugandan and slash African heritage but so she has a little bit of uh, you know different hair texture for her but she's still black so I wanted to make it more convincing so what I did I selected the, my character and go to the uh, material tab here and look for the first the, the first one hair zero two and under shader type when you drop down there are going to be three you know, one two three four types of hair or, or types of shaders that you can use it just so happens that in here there's a digital human hair shader that is native to iClone and that was the magic touch so watch what happens when i select digital human hair and look at that the hair looks more natural it has a more uh, a natural sheen to it and so that is the, the quick tip that i wanted to share with you that this uh hair here that you're looking at is a simple plane that is uh when it's unwrapped it's flat and then we applied a hair texture to it and when you add on the digital human hair shader it makes a big big difference and you can see that this on the right hand side doesn't look the same as that and so what i'll do is i select this guy uh, the hair on the on the right hand side change from pbr to digital human hair and there you have a very nice hair for the character looking natural and so that was a, that's a quick uh, technique or 
tip and technique <laughs> that you can use for your custom character to have natural looking hair inside of iClone. As always, guys, uh, never give up on your dream. I've been pursuing this uh, dream, this uh, storytelling dream for a while, and I'm staying true to the path. And every now and then, an update comes along in programs that we use that actually makes the story, I mean, the uh, execution of the story even better. And so I'm so grateful that uh, Reillusion added this uh, digital human shader to uh, iClone, uh, because now my characters look really nice. Very cool. And so please give it a try on your character, but it's also important that the texture that you used uh, is well, uh, first of all, uv uh, the hair is uv uh, uv mapped, <laughs> and that the hair is uh, textured nicely so that it tiles. But once you apply the digital human hair shader, you're going to get a much better uh, result, as you can see here for uh, Princess Anitandra. And when I started out, as you can tell, this hair looked like that. But as uh, Icon got, in, you know, updated, I was able to improve on the hair because of this uh, digital human hair shader. So please give it a try and uh, see how it improves on your characters. Um, I hope this was a, a helpful tip. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and uh, click like, kindly share. I am so super grateful to everyone that is supporting this channel and who supported us on our dream. I am sharing these trips, uh, these tips and techniques so that you too may find solutions to executing your dream and doing it better or improving on how the, your characters look and especially in iClone for those of, who, those of you who are using iClone. And the reason I actually use iClone is because I'm able to use the live link, the iClone live link to uh, uh, to Unreal so that I can use the sequencer to create a, a faster renders in the Unreal Engine. And I also sometimes I actually render in iClone. As you can see, I mean, look at that. This is a uh, real time rendering, <laughs> you know. So the reason I take it to Unreal is when I would need to do like ray traced uh, using the real time ray tracing. So, guys, please uh, stay safe wherever you are during this pandemic. But I encourage you not to give up on your dream in spite of all the struggles that uh, we are going through and all the challenges of uh, this uh, pandemic and uh, COVID-19. And um, my heart goes out to everyone who has lost loved ones and those who are actually going through the challenge of uh, being sick from COVID. Guys, I am praying for you from the bottom of my heart and I'm encouraging you to stay positive and keep dreaming big. Dare to dream big and uh, harness the t tools that are coming on the market. Take advantage of, of all these new features that are being added uh, in iClone. Reillusion, thank you so much, guys, because you're making our dreams come true <laughs> with the improvement of this program. Uh, thank you, guys. Again, stay safe. Uh, much love to you all. Uh, bye for now.